not Nico, the same person that was known for making amazing Bed Wars content with other content creators, is now also known for making content like this. Ah, it's a beautiful day today. Did I actually cash walk past me? There's no time for this. What? We need to hide all of our valuables. Come on, I say we hide it in your man cave. Wait, no, no, wait, wait. Now, I have no hate for this style of content. In fact, I think kids would actually enjoy, considering that it has an half mouse style concept. But the only problem is, a lookalike channel is stealing the entire, like, concept of Nico and Cash, and uploading inappropriate thumbnails to YouTube that should definitely not be for children. I'll show you a couple of them, and I'll let you have your opinions. And even if you do think so, no, I'm not the only one who has an opinion on this. There are hundreds of videos about this topic, and I will play a clip from one right now. Don't worry, the credit will be on the clip and in the description as well. Those ...that are rapidly growing and multiplying, that take popular Minecraft characters that kids are familiar with, and use them to expose porn, gore, violence, and other adult topics to vulnerable children, while abusing several loopholes in YouTube and COPPA's regulation ports on these channels, and, more importantly, brought a lot of people's attention to the issue, including parents, older siblings, siblings and including YouTube. To sum it up, it's very easy to manipulate the algorithm with these very low effort quality kids channel videos that also use inappropriate thumbnails to show to children. Cause once again, it uses some kids' favorite Minecraft characters such as Nico and Cash, which have such a large fan base that it is very easy to manipulate the algorithm and stylize thumbnails and videos, which for some reason, kids will watch because they have no idea what's on the video. But before all of that, Nico was a relatively big YouTuber that made Minecraft Bed Wars videos and videos partially related to the topic. But the fact that most of his videos were over 12 minutes long and highly edited, it could have been possible that he just took a break from uploading so much. But right before his 8 month disappearance on YouTube, he made a video right before he left on his other channel called How I Solved the Rubik's Cube. And it's very obvious that Nico probably wanted to stop making these long, highly edited videos because not even a couple months after he started the channel, his channel exploded in popularity, most likely due to the fact that it was a kid's channel, and he started uploading there a lot more frequently. Even up till now, the channel sits at 2 million subscribers, and it's not like he made this channel like a year or two years ago. He made this channel 9 days before he disappeared on YouTube. Now, after all the exploitation of Nico and inappropriate thumbnails, you're probably asking, how did they do it? Well, it's because of a couple of loopholes through YouTube themselves. When you first go to YouTube to upload a video, it will first give you the option if you think that this video is made for kids or not. And obviously, by clicking no, you're technically implying that the video can be for people 13 and up or 18 and up, which leaves for some inappropriate thumbnails and videos that could potentially be uploaded. And even though it's for kids 13 and up, YouTube technically could still show it to children. And that's how most of these videos are made, with the exploitation also comes extra views and technically ad revenue. And although it may seem like it stops the blame completely, it doesn't stop it completely. It just puts the blame less on YouTube, considering the fact that you, the person who is uploading this video, is considering the fact that this video can be uploaded to all ages, including adults, teenagers, and children. Now you may be wondering, how can you help to stop any of these? Well, one, you can report the channel, which is probably the fastest and easiest way to do it. But second, if you ever have a younger sibling that could potentially tell that this is not the right channel, or you could tell them that this is not the right channel, and redirect them to the actual real channel that uploads way better content than that dumpster fire that they post over there. Of course these horrible degenerate people will keep making this disgusting content. Of course they will take advantage of a system they know will not punish them. YouTube also won't do anything because 
So personally, after all of this, what do you think? Me personally, I think that Nico should try and find whoever's making these videos and definitely take them down. Because it's not fair that this person is just mooching off of Nico and Cash's content and just making it downright worse for not only just teenagers and adults that are trying to watch out for their children, but the children themselves. Considering, I'm surprised how Nico hasn't even found out about this topic yet, considering it's been talked about by not too many people, but to be honest, it's pretty widespread now.